Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. From Sequoia all the way to the stage of SNL. Tonight, Joe Kelly takes us into the local tie our area has to late night television. The sentence was really off the wall. I would like to feed your fingertips to the Wolverines. And those were the first words ever spoken on what would become one of television's most successful comedy shows ever. The show, Saturday Night Live. The man who uttered that line on October 11, 1975, was the show's first head writer, Michael O'Donohue of Sequoia, New York. O'Donohue grew up in Sequoia, the son of an engineer and a stay-at-home mom. After his local schooling, O'Donohue went to college at the University of Rochester, where he wrote for both the college newspaper and their humor magazine. After college, O'Donohue wrote several plays that showed his dark style of humor, a style that would become his trade Trademark. One of O'Donohue's greatest contributions to American comedy came in 1969 when he was among the first writers to start up a magazine called The National Lampoon. It was there that he expanded his work into electronic media, launching the National Lampoon Radio Hour and he did video work that would lead to his job at Saturday Night Live. He was the head writer on Saturday Night Live for the first two years of the show's run. He also appeared in various skits during those first two seasons. He even developed a recurring character named Mr. Mike, who would read dark themed bedtime stories. O'Donohue won an Emmy for his writing on Saturday Night Live, and he co-wrote the Christmas movie Scrooged, which starred Bill Murray. He even wrote a country music top 10 single woman that was recorded by none other than Dolly Parton. In 1998, Michael O'Donohue died of a cerebral hemorrhage. He was 54 years old and one of the most accomplished comedic talents to come out of our area. Produced with the cooperation of the United County History Center, I'm Joe Kelly, and this is Hidden History.